Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Taryn and today, like I promised, I am sharing what we are using for grade four this year for our homeschool. We're in the 2018-2019 school year and um, I'm using the good and the beautiful for the most part for our curriculum. Um, definitely for our language arts. As you can see here, we've got language arts and literature. This is her course book for my fourth grader. Um, she's using level three. And if you saw any of my previous videos, you know that the good and the beautiful, their levels don't necessarily coordinate with grade levels. So you have to make sure you take the placement test, your child takes the placement test to see which level they um, should start with. Now, my kids, um, we haven't done a ton of grammar study. I did it with my older two, but I don't know, if you're a mom of many, you know that sometimes with your younger ones, things slide that didn't slide with your older ones. So. In the last couple of years, we really haven't done a ton of grammar. So, basically, because of that, um, she, my fourth grader, tested into level three, um, and I am more than comfortable with that. So, if you're not familiar, um, the language arts uh, of the good and the beautiful does not cover merely language arts. It covers literature, grammar and usage, punctuation, art, geography, spelling, vocabulary, and writing. So, tons of stuff in here. And I will be digging um, into all of this curriculum in future videos. I'm just sharing with you a quick peek into what we are using this year, not necessarily diving in deep. But to give you a quick peek, just so you can see how beautiful this curriculum actually is. Let's see if we can find some of this. Yes, the artwork. It's really beautiful. I love it. Um, they're so excited to do this. All of my kids are using the Good and the Beautiful this year, and we're so excited. Um, you can get levels one through five, the language arts, online on their website. They offer it to you, the PDF version, completely free. So you can, all of this language arts stuff that I'm going to be showing with you today, you can actually go to their website, you can download it for free, and you can use it. Um, make sure you take the placement test first, but you can use it, which I find beyond generous of them. Like, I just don't know another company that, um, that offers that much for free. It's just, it's unbelievable. So if you're hesitant to, although I think um, the price on their curriculum is fabulous as well. It's super affordable because it's made. Jenny Phillips is a homeschool mom herself, and she just really understands the, um, you know, the one income family, stay at home mom, homeschooling mom thing. Um, so the curriculum is super affordable if you want to go ahead and buy the hard copy, which obviously I have here. But if you don't, you can get it for free and you can use it for any of your kids in levels one through five. So go ahead and check that out. But obviously I have the, the hard copy here. So just to give you a peek, we've got the at a glance and the table of contents. And then in the beginning of all of their course books, they tell you about the course, how to use it, why we use it. Um, what is included, what you need as far as materials for the course and extra materials you may have around the house. Um, and then we've got down here, we've got level three readers and the challenging words um, flashcards, which I'm going to show you in a second. So here's another one. So this is lesson one already getting into the beautiful art. Um, so those challenging words here, I will show you since we just talked about it. I have not opened these yet, but there's a lot of challenging words. These are flashcards. So I'm just gonna cut these all out and they recommend putting them in three um, Ziploc bags for mastered, not learned, and learned. So keeping it super, super simple. You really don't need anything else. Um, all right, next we have the course companion for level three, which it will tell the child and me when to use this, but here's her daily checklist. And in those lessons, in this book, it will tell you when to refer to the course companion because this just has extra things in here for geography, extra things in here for poetry and spelling and reading and things like that. So it's tiny, it's thin, um, but that's included. And then also included is the readers. So we've got volume one, and volume two in here. And this is what 
she's going to be reading. Um, and then along with this, so just to give you a quick peek, here's the readers. Um, and then along with these readers, we are picking from the Good and the Beautiful, their book list. They have a book list for everybody for, um, I think it starts at level one. Um, level one and up. They include good and beautiful literature that you can pick if you need extra literature to read with your child or to have your child read. So I'm choosing some great literature for her to read. Um, she's, she's grade four, even though this is level three. Um, she's in fourth grade this year and she is a voracious reader. So I already chose a bunch of books actually, and I'm probably going to share the literature choices that I have so far for all of my kids, um, cause I ordered them in bulk. Um, so I'll probably share that in a future video. So make sure you subscribe so you know that. But anyway, um, I honestly chose from levels six and seven for her. So, you know, you can see, and obviously since you're homeschooling, you know that their levels are all different. She's using level three here, but she's reading far ahead. Um, so it is what it is and I'm fine with it. So we chose a bunch of books for that. Um, I also do wanna mention for math, you do not see our math here because I'm using teaching textbooks. So she's in fourth grade, she's using teaching textbooks level five this year and their um, teaching textbooks 3.0 is new this year. They came out with an online program so you no longer have to get the CDs and the textbooks. Um, and do it that way so you don't lose anything or scratch anything. So we are using that all online, which is perfect because um, if you missed my video, we are an RV family now and we're doing um, lots of traveling and camping and we are in small spaces. So I really appreciate not having any books for math and they are loving it, absolutely loving it. And I will definitely be doing a teaching textbooks review on this channel, so make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, next we've got science. Um, this is a unit study from The Good and the Beautiful. And we're doing arthropods this year, much to my chagrin, but it's a good idea. Um, we have not really dove into bugs before, but being that we are outside in nature all the time, um, this is a good one and a needed one because it's crazy, the amount of bugs that we've encountered so far. So I said to the kids, you know what? We might as well learn about it. So we're doing insects, spiders, and crustaceans. And it's a unit study for grades K through six. Um, I will definitely be doing a review of this as well, but they um, lay it all out for you. And then I do have um, kids that are older that will also be doing this with me. They give extensions for grades seven through eight. So they, we're all doing this together, but I'm gonna do a separate video to show you how we're making that work together. And then this is not included, neither is the science. This is obviously not included in the language arts, but we're using nature notebooks, again, because we're outside all the time. So this is her nature notebook. Each one of my kids has one of these and it goes by season and they tell you what to do um, throughout the season. So there's that. And then for history, um, this year I'm going with Simply Charlotte Mason, Modern Times, Epistles and Revelation. This is a family study handbook, so I can use this for grades one through 12. And honestly, that is why I chose it. Last year we went with Beautiful Feet. We did um, Early American and loved it. I highly, highly recommend Beautiful Feet um, for pretty much anything. But this year, um, to be honest, I already had this and I knew we wanted to do modern history. And I was also kind of researching and figuring out what do I wanna do for Bible? Do we wanna just read the Bible together? Do we wanna do a curriculum? And then honestly, I found that I had this and that I never used it. So that's what we're doing, especially given that we're in small spaces and I can do this with everybody. So I will be sharing more on this, but just know that's what I'm doing for history for all of them. And um, I believe that is it. That is all we're using for grade four. So hopefully that didn't confuse you. This is grade four, but we're in level three, we're in level six, we're in level five, <laughs> but this is grade four. So 
And there you have it. So um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe. And also, I'm going to leave a link down below, but I have a group on Facebook called Homeschool with Heart. And you're more than welcome to join it. It's just a group full of moms encouraging one another, asking questions, feedback, sharing pictures, sharing stories, questions, anything. So um, make sure you join that if you are interested in just connecting with other moms. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.